Good evening, YouTube. Who's your piper, aka Mark, coming at you? You were just spared about three minutes of me trying to keep this pipe lit and stumbling around trying to explain myself. It is a Savinelli 320 Trevi. I got it from, I bought it from uh, Corey, Corn Cop Piper. Thank you, Corey. Glad to see that you're out of the path of the storm. You're up in Birmingham. Just watch that video. But I want to talk about the what I have in this pipe. And it very well may affect my good standing in the YTPC. But this video I want to kind of talk about tobacco. You can kind of see I'm in my backyard and I am now this is the first video of this fall where I've got my black sweatshirt on and I just live in this thing year-round or shouldn't say year-round in the winter fall winter I do wash it in case you're wondering but um, so you'll be seeing a lot of that so let's start talking about tobacco a couple videos ago, the Bremen Piper pipe smoker, Mark, talked about Cabby's mixture. And I commented on that video that Cabby's mixture is one of my favorite tobaccos, definitely in the top ten. And it really grows on me. And then, more recently, I believe the channel is called Bosco Piper UK. Posted a video about Dorchester, Esoterica Dorchester. And I commented on that and said, that is my favorite tobacco. And both Mark and, I want to say Simon, were very polite and graciously commented back about my comments. But it got me to thinking, what would it taste like if I combined Esoterica Dorchester with Cabby's Mixture? Well, let me tell you that I'm really enjoying it. I took some Dorchester, a couple pinches, and this is very subjective, and took maybe two or three coins of Cabby's Mixture. And if you have smoked Cabby's Mixture, you know how it comes. But I would say it was in a two to one ratio. And I rubbed out the cabbies mixture and then I mixed it. It's a, it was just one bowl worth, but I mixed it as best I could to make sure that it was somewhat even. And then I packed up this pipe and that's what I'm smoking in this. It's a combination of Dorchester and Cabby's mixture. And it's really unique. Of course, Cabby's mixture, you get a lot of uh, perique and very spicy. And so when I started off, I didn't have hardly any of that um, because I had more of the Dorchester flavor.
just this far down into the bowl and I'm starting to get some more of that Perique punch. And I'm, I'm, I think I'm really gonna enjoy this. So, if it means that I am banned from the YTPC for mixing such, <laughs> such tobaccos, so be it. I'm gonna have a good time smoking it. But that's not really the tobacco question I had for everybody tonight. Um, this week, I have done something that I had not yet up into this first year of pipe smoking that, that I've never done up until Tuesday. And that was smoke some Captain Black. And I attempted a couple videos in the car as I was commuting back and forth to work. But it just they just weren't good videos and a lot of bouncing around and I was distracted and but I want to say that this Captain Black Gold it is a very mellow mild tobacco hang on a second Uh, you're not going to be able to see that, probably. Oh. Crop duster. Squirrel. Crop duster's been working south of town. Wow, my camera is flaring out. Let's see if I can get that fixed. All right, sorry about that. I probably need to edit that out if I can figure it out. But it is a, a very mild, mellow tobacco. On the, the pouch it says, Mature Golden Cavendish Tobaccos, Delightfully Aromatic. And I haven't re looked at the reviews on tobaccoreviews.com or anything, but I don't even know what, what I'm supposed to be looking for. But to me, it had a very slight... Um, pouch note of vanilla I've said in my previous videos I typically throughout the day will smoke lane one Q and then in the evenings I'll smoke something else um, but I started Tuesday I opened up that pouch and I was really pleasantly surprised and the moisture content was just about dead on perfect um, which was really the reason why I didn't want to smoke something out of a pouch like this I I had a real bad experience I bought a pouch of Sir Walter Raleigh and I opened up the plastic opened up the pouch and it was just almost like dust it was dry brittle And I just, I didn't even want to smoke it. Um, I may have given it away, I'm not sure. I think I did. I apologize if you're the one that got it. Um, so I've been holding off. I got several pouches of Captain Black. I got copper and original. I've got this gold. But I was really hesitant to smoke it, and, um, and that was pleasantly surprised at how much I liked it, enjoyed it. And so now I found myself smoking more of it this week than my Lane One Q. And I don't know that it's going to become a daily smoker for me, but my question to you, almost 10 minutes into the video, is this. And feel free to leave a comment. You don't have to do a VR, but if you want to, that's fine. But leave a comment. What tobacco 
have you been hesitant to try and then once you started smoking it it kind of grew on you and now you just you really enjoy it it might not be something you smoke every day or you know on a very consistent basis but you smoke you smoke it now and enjoy it more than what you thought you would when you first tried it what tobacco were you hesitant about trying and then once you tried it you were pleasantly surprised leave me a comment if you would please let me know kind of share some of your knowledge maybe it'll be something I'll try as well I'm you know fairly new to this pipe smoking community and I enjoy experimenting as you can tell um, I'm not afraid to try anything once um, as ev evidenced by my smoking the infamous tin of Grossmore which is still available by the way look forward to hearing from you don't have to do a VR just leave a comment I hope you all have a great weekend if you're in Florida I pray that you'll be safe I think all of us ought to offer a prayer or meditate on those who are right directly in the storm's path and um, I wish you all the best Till next time. Who's your piper?